What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. My name is Leandro Demon Riva, and today we're going to be making a 20th century. The 20th century is a cocktail that was created, well, as most, it is attributed to a guy named William J. Tarling, who published it in a book called The Cafe Royale Cocktail Book in 1937. And it is a drink that it was created uh, in memoriam of this rail line. So back in the day, when train travel was the premier, most civilized way to get, to get anywhere, there was a rail line called the 20th Century Limited, which ran from New York to Chicago. And it was such a high-end way of um, traveling that it had in-house maid service, it had a barber shop, it had um, uh, sleeper cars that were, you know, kind of these lavish sleeper cars, and ticket holders would tread across a red carpet to enter the train. And it actually, the term red carpet treatment was a term that entered the American lexicon because of this train service. So it was so popular that a British guy, William J. Tarling, created a cocktail in, uh, to memorialize it. Anyway, let's get into the drink. Oh, the other thing that I want to mention, a little caveat, all right, is that usually and historically, Lillet would have been used to make this drink. Now, there's a little bit of stuff about Lillet and you will see that I'm using Coqui Americano and not Lillet. According to some people, Lillet changed their recipe in the 1980s and they extracted, it used to be called Kina Lillet. And the reason why it was called Kina Lillet was because there was cinchona bark, which has a lot of quinine in it. And that cinchona bark kind of gave it this flavor and those liqueurs were called Kina Kinas, okay? Now, some people say that Lillet extracted the cinchona bark out of their, um, out of their recipe and then started calling it Lillet Blanc. Lillet themselves deny that this ever happened. Uh, but a lot of people say that Coqui Americano, which is very rich in cinchona bark, is closer to the Lillet of yesteryear. I just really like Coqui Americano in this drink. I'm not really sure how I fall on that. If there is a Lillet specialist out there, please, and you see this, please comment below and set us straight. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Then we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of Coqui Americano. Then we're gonna do half an ounce of white creme de coco. We're using Marie Brizard today. Get the cap back on maybe. And then one and a half ounces of gin. Today I'm using a very just traditional London dry style, uh, number three. Uh, you could also use beef eater if you wanna go a little cheaper. Um, this is what I got on hand today, so that's what we're using. We need one and a half ounces of our gin. We're gonna add our ice and spill it and spill our drink everywhere. And shake our cocktail. All right, here we go. I got a nice good lock on the tin. You always want to make sure you got a good lock so that you're not wearing the cocktail at the end. And then we're just going to double strain. Into our glass. And a little lemon twist. It's basically, if you said, hey, that's just like a corpse reviver, you would be right. All you'd have to do is take out the absinthe and then sup and then sub uh, creme de coco for your, um, uh, for your orange liqueur, and that's basically what a 20th century is. Let's taste it. Oh, it's a beautiful drink. Even that little amount of creme de coco really balances it out, but you'll also notice that the coqui helps to balance it out because coqui, Americano, is, even though it's a white wine aperitif, it is, very, it is pretty sweet. It has a pretty sweet flavor. So, when you, you're balancing out the lemon, but you're not blowing the lemon out, it's still very tart, very refreshing drink. Um, you, you know, everything plays really well with the botanicals and the gin. And you still get a little bit of that juniper on the end, but it's just melded so well that even those of you who are not very into the juniper flavor will like this cocktail. It's a pretty well-rounded drink. It's pretty impressive and I like it. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. The 20th century cocktail. 
So a couple things. First of all, I want to thank everybody who subs our Patreon and just thank you very much. You guys are really helping to make the show what it is and we really appreciate it. Uh, secondly, I want you to hit like and subscribe because if you guys subscribe to our channel, the more subscribers we get, the easier it is for us to bring you this great content. And uh, thirdly, I want to just shout out to my uh, tool sponsor, Barfly Mixology Gear. I've actually heard in the comments from a lot of people lately who have been um, buying the... the um, buying the uh, the gear and really, really just very happy with the quality. Actually, one guy posted today and said, I'm so happy with it, I'm going to hang up my Cocktail Kingdom strainer and I'm going to put this in play. I didn't expect to have such high quality gear, and it is. So I just want to say thank you to them for helping us out, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.